capsules. Even as a boy, Craig Walker's favorite thing Here comes the sun. was waking people up. Later, he had the perfect job until a lip injury. Finally, Craig got a whole city to wake up. Here comes the sun. And at last, he's appreciated. Here comes the sun. So for songs you want to sing, news and sky view traffic, listen. Craig Walker and 62 KGW Radio. Here in Old Bavaria. To Dial X, P.O. Box 3401, Portland, Oregon. Order now. Send $12.95 for one, $19.95 for two to Dial X. P.O. Box 3401, Portland, Oregon, 97208. This is KPTV Channel 12, Portland. Second in Northeast Halsey. And by Tom Peterson's at 82nd and Southeast Foster Road. Hello, everybody. I'm Don Coster, host of Portland Wrestling, along with the man, Dutch Savage. And boy, we got one tonight, Dutch. Well, we got a gangbuster card tonight. We've got Colt Rogers, Tep Tepu, Stajak, Sawyer, and Adams in a tag match against Oliver and the Assassin. Tia Richie, Matt Bourne is back in town, ladies and gentlemen, taking on Portland's own Billy, Billy Jack. Jack. Now, aren't you sorry you didn't come down to the arena? Because the main event isn't going to be on television tonight. Well, oh, hey, we got to see it, though. And uh, you've got plenty of action to see, and you'll see that starting right after this word for Tom Peterson. Don't go away. Tom Peterson's two-store clearance sale is advertised on page three of today's Saturday Oregonian. How much would you pay for a Zenith video disc player? $2.99? No way. $2.49? Our last advertised price? No. Now only $1.99, that's right, just $1.99. How much would you pay for a 19-inch colored TV? $3.29, no. $2.47, our last advertised price, no. Now only $2.39. Now that's at Tom Peterson's. How would you like to get a special deal just because you're watching television right now? Well, you can, with Marv Tonkin Ford's Wrestling Specials. These cars have been discounted below our normal sale prices and will only be announced on Saturday Night Wrestling. Here's this week's specials. A 1978 Mustang six-cylinder, four-speed with factory T-top, $29.99. A 1978 Cougar XRT with power sunroof, loaded with every option, only $38.99. A 1976 Lincoln Continental Mark IV, low miles, leather interior, power sunroof, just $46.99. A 1977 Datsun pickup, thrifty four-cylinder, four-speed, only $16.99. And a 79 Ford T-Bird, sharp two-door luxury model, only 39,000 miles, a low $39.99. These prices will only last until 6 p.m. Monday, and you won't see or hear about them anywhere else. But only at Marv Tonkin Ford, so don't miss it. Your pickup needs the year-round protection of a Rubber Queen truck bed mat from G.I. Joe. It's practically indestructible, helps prevent scratches and dents, and it's on sale for only $69.99. And G.I. Joe's has Rubber Queen front floor mats, endurable rubber for most cars and light trucks. Your choice, on sale for only $9.99. G.I. Joe's. For Rubber Queen protection, on sale. We got what it takes. Ready to go. Tonight's action, you can see Chris Colt bidding us a hearty welcome. In his very, very colorful style. You know what Colt just said? What? He's a savage. I'm a punk rock star now. Well, he got part of that right. <laughs> punk rock, huh? <laughs> Don Owen. Introducing in this corner, 228 pounds from Los Angeles, Chris Cole. His opponent in this corner, 227 pounds from Louisiana, Tommy Rogers. Referee, Sandy Barr. 
Tommy Rogers and Chris Colt. Oh, see, the crowd was almost as loud tonight as Chris Colt's outfit there. He's Another tremendous crowd here at the sports arena, ladies and gentlemen. You should have got in your cars or in the bus and come on down. You got a chance to see yourself on television here tonight. And see a whole lot of action because a lot of the action doesn't turn up on television. Yes, sir. And the main event will not be on TV tonight. Matt Bourne is in town. Just flew, flew in. You ought to see young Matt. Matt's picked up about 15 pounds. He looks like a young bull. Uh, we're going to have the uh, Northwest Tag Team. That championship's on the line tonight, isn't it? That belt on the line? Well, we'll find out. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. I know we got a lot of action tonight. Don't oh, hit on me, Ed. <laughs> You're always putting me in the middle, Don. I didn't read this thing. I just try to keep you up to date on things. That's all. I wasn't here. <laughs> Was I? You were here last. I know, are you here this week? <laughs> Dutch has been under the weather lately, and we've had some rotten weather to be under anyway, so he's not feeling too sharp. There was a rumor that, that there may be a belt on the line tonight. We don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out when the tag team match is underway. Right now, we got Chris Colt and Tommy Rogers, and uh, we have uh, Mr. Colt's. I, I do know that uh, Rip Oliver and Billy Jack had a wild brawl here last Tuesday night. Both of the, the participants, Jack and Rip Oliver, got counted out of the ring while fighting on the floor in, a, uh, in the corner of the arena after Billy Jack chased Oliver behind the uh, bleachers and evidently did some uh, physical harm to him. Bodily damage, I think is what they call it. Well, that was a wild one. There's Chris Colt. Oh, Chris is trying to con Tommy Rogers. Come into my little net, said the spider to the fly. But Tommy's too smart for that. There's a takedown by Colt. Escape by Rogers. Rogers tries to go behind. <laughs> Chris heads for the ropes. Both these men, veteran professional wrestlers Colt's been around a while boy. no I'm afraid you're wrong there Chris Colt's been around for about 17 years Tommy Rogers been around for about a year and a half okay well you put them both together and that's quite a few years that's 18 and a half years okay. very good Donald there's a right hand by Rogers there's a 22 year old right hand <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it hurts just like a 36 year old Before we go too far, I want to, before I forget about it, I want to thank that Soapbox Der Derby Committee over in Sandy, Oregon, and that whole crowd over there, Gary and his constituents for the bang-up job the Soapbox Derby did for uh, Portland Wrestling. We had a card over there last week, you know, and uh, the house was just full. The fans were ecstatic, and what a neat bunch of fans over there. Oh, I tell you, that's a great area over there, Sandy, Oregon. Gary Fretz and his gang. And rumor has it that uh, we may be back out there again sometime in May, so you have to stay tuned, watch the papers, and stuff like that. Well, Chris Colt has uh, Tommy Rogers sort of a side headlock. Tommy uh, powers out of it, and Colt grabs a little hair and gets back into the side headlock. Referee Sandy Barr questioning the hair hold. Well, I'm telling you people that didn't <clears throat> get down here tonight, you should be here. The place is pretty well full, but there's a little bit more room. This, this match with Matt Bourne and Billy Jack is going to be something to behold. Matt is in tremendous condition. I just spoke to Matt earlier this evening before coming out of tremendous condition. He looks he looks great. Tony's here tonight, too. Yeah, I saw Tony. Yeah, son on, yeah. Well, we've got two. Uh, we're going to have two local Portland uh, men going at it. And Matt says there's room for only one. And he plans on being the one. Oh, look at that. That body rock by Tommy Rogers and an arm drag. That's a double arm drag. Colt bails out very <laughs> wisely. Let me out of here. <laughs> oh, he's mad. He's going out to the concession stand, I think. Oh, the crowd's getting on him now. He's not getting any mercy from the fans, Don. No, not, none at all. 
Meanwhile, Sandy Barr's got the count on him while uh, Colt laces up his boots. <laughs> Complaining of his back. Colt's like a fox. Really like a fox. Too many, uh, too many of his opponents has to underestimate him. Over the years, Chris has been extremely successful in this business. That's why he's been around for 17 years. Right. You may fool Chris Colt once or twice, but you won't do it two or three times in a row consecutively or consistently. There's a full Nelson by Colt on Tommy Rogers. In case you just tuned in, Tommy Rogers in the blue trunk. Chris Colt's in the multicolored Man from Mars outfit. <laughs> right. The rhinestone trunks. Oh, forearm across the back. Another one delivered by Colt. And a third one. Now into the turnbuckle. Mm. Well, I'll bet you that Rip Oliver is awful hot after that feud they had here this past Tuesday night, he and uh, Billy Jack. That feud's just getting started. I don't think they've got enough of one another, and I look for big things out of those two coming up in the future. And then on top of that, you got you got Billy Jack wrestling Matt Bourne, one of the he's a world renowned star now. Back east, people are picking him up out here on the cable on some station watching Matthew work, and he's improved a thousand percent since he went back east, and he's a force to be reckoned with in this business now. Well, he just came in from uh, New Orleans, didn't he? He, fl he flew in on his own hook to meet this Billy Jack. Well, that's the thing, Matt Bourne has been putting uh, Billy Jack down, and yet he doesn't really know who he's talking about yet. A tackle by Chris Colt. Rogers gets out of the way. There's a leg trip by Rogers. Rolls up into a headlock. As we say on the Mexican side. Know what that is? <laughs> yes, that's the Mexican side. Well, it hurts just like the other side. And when he turns his body around in front of him, gets directly in front of him, that's the American side. Oh, okay. He went south of the border and came across the border and put him on a side headlock, Mexican style. See how much you learn watching professional wrestling? And there is uh, <laughs> one of Chris Colt's favorite holes. Get the guy by the hair, his nose, his tooth, his ear. Get him off of you. Now he's going to jaw with the crowd a little bit. That's one of his favorite pastimes, too, I think. we got five minutes left in our match. This is our opening match. For another good crowd this Saturday night. You see, did you see what Cole did that time? He did it so fast, you didn't even notice. He did a leg takedown on, on Rogers. Took him down so fast. Snuck up. Took him in an arm scissors on, a, on an arm bar. Now he's got him in a pin position. And that's three moves in about uh, three tenths of a second. Mm, there's uh, a forearm. There's that. Right across the forehead. And there's another one. Oh, boy. Hey, that one all the way down. There's a boot on the side of Roger's head. Another one. is chanting we want Tommy and Colt's getting him right now I want to thank the people over in Finley Washington for the turnout they had over there last Sunday for the Finley High School Booster Club they appreciated the wrestling card and we appreciate the fans over there for their participation we'll be seeing them in the future part of Colt's slyness is he knows exactly where the referee is and he gets the uh, he gets the referee in a position where the referee can't see exactly what's going on, then that's when he grabs the hair and does all these other little things. But sometimes they don't pay off, just like right now. There's another knee to the midsection. There's a whip into the turnbuckle. And there's Airborne. <laughs> Colt's trying to get out. <laughs> and Tommy grabbed him. There we go, another one into the turnbuckle. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look out, there's a clothesline by Rogers. There's an inside suplex grabbing a tight. That's illegal, but he takes him down anyway. Oh, that'll set your clock back a few hours. And Colt got his leg out into the bottom rope. And that breaks it up. There's a reversal by Colt on Rogers. Rogers, second rope. Oh. Time for a body dive. Tried to extend that body completely. Colt caught him when he was going up. Got out of the way, and Rogers hit on his right rib cage. Those stomps are legal, Don, as long as he's using the flat of the foot. Yeah, he That's was. That's not legal. Trying to suffocate the man. Well, he's trying to choke him and suffocate oh. it. That's it. Referee Sandy Barr said that's enough, Colt. Four is the count, five is a disqualification. He just disqualified Chris Colt. You're going to find it's your winner. Look at this. Colt just took a punch at referee Sandy Barr. Another one. Yeah, he may be disqualified longer than he... Uh... 250 bucks and a, and a referee retaliates. Everybody's by disqualification from Roger. Well, we had, we had two matches in one on our opening... Uh card tonight opening match Tommy Rogers the victor over Chris Colt by disqualification and don't go away because we're going to be right back After we watch a little more of this extracurricular activity Tom Peterson's two-store clearance sale as advertised on page three of today's Saturday Oregonian how much would you pay for this Magnavox audio cassette deck with Dolby 169 no way 119 no now only $79. That's right, just $79. How much you pay for this Litton Touch microwave oven with probe? $449? No. $399, our last advertised price? No. Now only $369. That's Tom Peterson's. Look out, America. Here comes the bird dance. The bird dance. The song that sold over 10 million copies in Europe is now sweeping North America. It's the hottest dance sensation since the twist. It's wild and crazy, but it's more fun than you can imagine. The album has 20 dance favorites in all, including a waltz and polka medley. But best of all is that famous bird dance. Don't wait. Get bird dance. It makes a great gift, and it's available at these and other fine stores. Sunday at five. They say anything can happen in Chinatown. You're a very nosy fellow, Kitty Cat, huh? You know what happens to nosy fellows? Huh? No? The coroner's report proves that he had salt water in his lungs when he was killed. I, I don't know what you are talking about. I, this is the craziest, the most insane thing. Stop it! Jack Nicholson, Faye Dunaway. John Houston in Roman Polanski's Chinatown, Sunday at 5 on TV 12. For the benefit of the fans in the arena as well as you people at home tomorrow we're in tacoma washington monday yakima washington tuesday a very special card over in camas at the high school for a very worthy cause tuesday evening camas high school in camas washington wednesday medford salem on thursday and we're going to be going at the school in salem don will be i think it's sprague high school and sponsored by the booster club in salem Friday, we're going all the way down to Coos Bay. We're not in Eugene this Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Going down to Coos Bay, Oregon. Elton Owen has a big card planned down there. Portland, Oregon next Saturday. Got some big surprises coming in next Saturday. And following Sunday, Centralia. Following Monday, Stanwood, Washington. We'd like to make you people aware of some of the March shows that are coming up. There's Longview, Washington. Tacoma. Staten, Oregon on the 14th. Thank you, Donald. And the 20th is Montesano, Washington. 21st, Yakima. 27th, Lincoln City of March in the 28th Seaside, Oregon for the first time since last summer and the 29th summer, Sumner, Washington. But don't forget, a big card Tuesday night, Camas, Washington, the bo and next Saturday here in Portland. And for you fans out of Coos Bay, we did say we're going to be there this coming Friday night. So be looking for us. Right, Donald? And we'll be right back after this word from Marv Tonkin. Don't you dare go away. <laughs> How would you like to get a special deal just because you're watching television right now? Well, you can, with Marv Tonkin Ford's Wrestling Specials. These cars have been discounted below our normal sale prices and will only be announced on Saturday Night Wrestling. Here's this week's specials. A 1978 Mustang six-cylinder, four-speed with factory T-top, $29.99. A 
A 1978 Cougar XRT with power sunroof, loaded with every option, only $38.99. A 1976 Lincoln Continental Mark IV, low miles, leather interior, power sunroof, just $46.99. A 1977 Datsun pickup, thrifty four-cylinder four-speed, only $16.99. And a 79 Ford T-Bird, sharp two-door luxury model, only 39,000 miles, a low $39.99. These prices will only last until 6 p.m. Monday, and you won't see or hear about them anywhere else. But only at Marv Tonkin Ford, so don't miss it. Price reduction. Our lowest price ever on electronic tuning, wireless remote, video recorder, only $5.99. As advertised this week on the back page of TV Click, this Sanyo video recorder has these great features. Wireless remote, front loading, eight-day programmable, one event. All this for only $599, plus free membership in Tom Peterson's Movie Club. And you can watch movies like these. Now that's Tom Peterson's. And here we go. All right, we got uh, Chief Tapu. That's right. If you just tuned in, you're late. And you missed our first match, which Tommy Rogers won by disqualification over the colorful Chris Colt. Ring announcer Don Owen. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 238 pounds from the South Pacific, Chief Tapu. His opponent in this corner, 260 pounds from New York City, Stan Stasia. Tapu sporting a brand new robe this evening. Tapu is a gentleman with all the hair. Boy, I hate guy with a lot of hair. Oh, sickening. Uh, I like to hang around his barber shop and pick up the stragglers. <laughs> Tapu with his back to us in the red trunks and one of the legends in our business facing is the crusher, Stan the Man Stasiak, 272 pounds of him. Now you talk about your veterans, talk about your legends. And that's the man right there, Stan Stasiak. Former World Federation heavyweight champion of the world, World Wrestling Federation. He beat Bruno Sammartino for the title back in 72. I'm sure he's one of the few men that Andre the Giant remembers by name. Stan the Man Stajak is the only man ever to stagger the Giant to where he almost went off his feet with one punch. Oh, I thought he did go down. He did. He fell in the corner. Oh. He fell in the corner and went down to the bottom rope with his uh, latissimus dorsus on the bottom rope. Ah. Staggering back into the corner with a hard punch. Giant stood there for about three seconds, started going backwards, did a cakewalk, and the rope saved him from going all the way down to the mat. The only man ever to do that. With one punch. Yeah. All right, Stacy, I going to work on an arm bar, and here we go. The count is on. As the arm tries to come off. Incidentally, fans, watch for some new faces next month. Tommy Pritchard, 220 pounds, Houston, Texas star, are coming to the Northwest, and also coming back, and he's completely recovered from a knee operation and asking for a date. Kurt Henning is going to be coming back in the Northwest very quickly. Also, a kid by the name of Kid, 22-year-old, what a handsome-looking youngster this guy is. I saw pictures of him. Tremendous body. Six foot one, 240 pound Brian Adias of Dallas, Texas will appear here in the future. He's on top in Dallas and Fort Worth right now and the fans are really gonna like all three of these guys because Kurt looks great. Those are some new faces and there's an old face gonna be coming back next Saturday. Right, Playboy Buddy Rose. He's gonna be coming back uh, fresh from a lot of victories at Madison Square Garden. Playboy's becoming world renowned. He's flying in next uh, Saturday here. He's gonna be on the card and uh, Everybody wants to play, boy. Oh, okay. Everybody. <laughs> Including Chris Colt. I mean, uh, Chris Adams. And Chris Colt. And Phil. And Stan Stajak. And Tapu. You beat Buddy Rose. You've beaten somebody nationally known as Matt Bourne night with Billy Jack. And Billy Jack 
comes out of this victorious. Matt Bourne's going all over the country now. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, a few headbutts put uh, Stan Stasiak down. And there we go into the turnbuckle. Yeah, Pooh pretty much having his way with the big man right now. Hey, he's trying to work on his left arm there. Oh, I thought that was almost his rendition of a heart punch there, but it, yeah, he's going to work on Stasiak's left arm. And trying to shake off some of the numbness, he throws a forearm across the chest to Tapu. Tapu rakes him with the tape on the wrist. He had his back to Bar. Bar didn't see that one. Uh, no, Bar didn't see that either. No, you can. It's it's a terrible thing uh, when you have to resort to tactics like that, you know. But that's all right. As you watch Stan, what I think is happening to Stan Stajak right now is he's. Uh, He's hurt a little bit, but he's drifting, what we call in this business, drifting. He's trying to get his composure back. When he gets his composure back, watch what happens. You don't kick a 270-pound former world champion around for very long. Watch him. Yeah. While, he, while he gets hurt, he gets mad, and then, uh, and then look out. Tapu kicking, hitting, and shoving him out of the ring. You see, while you're working on your opponent, your adrenaline's flowing, too and you might be exhausting your energy supply while the other man's rolling around out there trying to uh, gain his composure. Yeah. And stands like a big old fox. Yeah, there's another headbutt. Yeah, Sandy Bar pulling him back, Sam. Break that count when I tell you to, boy. Well, so far, Sandy Bar has been getting himself into a little action here, too, in the first two matches. Another headbutt. Oh, the Samoan delivers a vicious headbutt. And Sandy Bar says, back up. Give him some room here. Now, oh! There's a slap tap. He put, a, put his head across that top rope and whipped him off. <laughs> Just about took his head off. Right down the middle of the ring. Uh-oh. Now he's mad. Got the big man mad. Look here he goes. Like a big train. <laughs> oh. Hard right hand in the midsection. There's a big punch to the head. Outside. Outside the ring. Sajak tossed him out. I've had enough of you, kid. Yeah, that's quite a drop down there. You can hear the thud. You can kind of feel the thud up here in the crow's nest. Well, Sandy's counting out there. You fans out there, keep in mind the world heavyweight champion Ric Flair will be flying into the Northwest to defend his title this spring sometime. Efforts are being made uh, to get a dream match. One of the biggest matches of the year, if not for the entire country, for the entire world. We're trying to get Rowdy Piper to go against Ric Flair out here if we can sign that match. You bet. And so is Rowdy. Boy, wouldn't that be a great match? This building and never hold it. Uh, <laughs> we need three buildings like this. Have to move it into the Coliseum. Well, Tapu's pleading for mercy. Oh, look at that, see? Stacy act versus attention. Tapu butts him right in the midsection. Both men outside of the ring. Tapu working Stasiak over hot and heavy. You gotta watch that count. Gentlemen, you'll be counted out. Now the crowd chanting, we want Stan. We want Stan. Well, he's not resting too much out there. He's it's a pier nine brawl, that's what it's turning into. There's another headbutt by Tapu. Uh, Tapu working over Stan's throat. Barr trying to pull Tapu off. Tapu going right back in like a magnet. Now Tapu and Sandy Barr having a few words. 
Here it comes. Hunter, Hunter. Hunter. That's it. This bout is over. That's it. This bout is over. Good, Good. night. The winner, oh, the Hunter. One heart punch. Lights out for Chief Tapu. Stan Stasiak with the heart punch. The victor over Chief Tapu in our second match tonight. Now don't you dare go away. We're going to be right back. After this word, for Tom Peterson. Yes, sir. Tom Peterson's two-store clearance sale is advertised on page three of today's Saturday Oregonian. How much would you pay for a Zenith video disc player? $299? No way. $249? Our last advertised price? No. Now only $199. That's right, just $199. How much would you pay for a 19-inch colored TV? $329? No. $247? Our last advertised price? No. Now only $239. Now that's at Tom Peterson. Ladies, take another look. A good look at the completely new and different sponge head you'll find now on the famous Rollomatic, the original self-ringing mop and waxer. It's the all-new T35S Clean Right sponge head, made exclusively for the Rollomatic. The new T35S won't shred, tear, or get hard, and it's 25% more absorbent. Just look how quickly it soaks up water. For ringing, simply flip the lever. The improved roller action squeezes out every drop. There's no bending or straining, and your hands never touch the dirty water. The T35S Clean Right sponge head always stays soft and absorbent, so it easily picks up even the messiest spills, spreads liquid wax thinly and evenly without streaking. We're constantly working to make the Rollomatic better than ever, to make your work easier than ever. So get the Rollomatic today. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. The Rollomatic Mop and Waxer is available at Payless, Albertsons, High School Pharmacy, Woolworth, and G.I. Joe's, and Fred Meyer one-stop shopping centers except Morrison. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, the Assassin and Rip Oliver. Well, you hear how the people greet me here. You can tell they all love me, but I got the same love for them. I don't care how they think about me. Everybody here in the Northwest has tried to get rid of Rip Oliver. The promoters, including you, Savage, has tried to get rid of me, tried to get rid of my partner. But I'm still here. Billy Jack wanted a big one last Tuesday night. He wanted a big one, a chance where he could rip me apart. Well, you looking at me, I'm right here. I got up some busted head. I had a lot of busted heads. Billy Jack, you ain't done nothing to me, brother. Just got me hot. You know, Tuesday night, just as I get the man down to where I've almost got him beat, he goes running back towards the dressing room. I'm right on his tail, right behind him, punching him right behind the head. Every time he turned around, I popped him in the mouth. Finally got him back against the wall and run him against the wall and got down on him and started beating his brains into the cement. I, everybody come out and pull me off of him. Well, Billy Jack, let me tell you something, boy. I'm not through with you. You just got me started, boy. I'm not through with you. Things have been building and building and building. They're just about built all the way to their max, baby. I'm telling you just like it is, brother. I want you, and I'm going to get you. And I'm going to get you where you won't be able to run from me next time. I'm going to get you, and I'm going to rip you apart like you was talking about ripping me apart. Rip Oliver and the assassin and the sheik, the Oliver's clan, will remain here in the Northwest, baby. And they ain't a man living can run us out or not a team that's ever been put together kick to run us out. That's right, Dust Savage, baby. Let me tell you something. Rip Oliver and Billy Jack, they went out of like two junkyard dogs here on Tuesday night. Hacksaw Sawyer, me and you been going at it like junkyard dogs, too. Even if it's Salem or Eugene, we've been going down and getting down to the ground, brother. Rip Oliver will take care of Billy Jack like he always has, and I'll take care of Hack Sawyer because we are the greatest tag team in the world, baby. I don't get a good close-up on this head of mine, baby. Billy Jack, you talking about 28 stitches really hurts you. You cried about me slapping you in front of your dad. Well, let me tell you something, boy. I've had a lot of stitches in this head. All you do is mend them back up and get right back in there and get it on again. And that's the way it's going to be until I finish you or you finish me because it's to the point now, baby. I don't care no more. I've lost enough blood. I've lost every night I go home, my ribs, my kidneys, and everything are hurting. My wife say, what's the matter with you? I said, don't worry about it. It's none of your business. This is my business and Billy Jack's business, and I'm going to get him one day or another if it's in a parking lot or wherever it's at. 
It is a nasty looking gash he has on his head there, Don. I can testify to that. That's a bad looking gash. Yeah, back to you, Don. Okay, we'll be back with our main event. Don't go away right after this word for Tom Peterson. Price reduction. Our lowest price ever on electronic tuning, wireless remote, video recorder, only $5.99. As advertised this week on the back page of TV Click, this Sanyo video recorder has these great features. Wireless remote, front loading, eight-day programmable, one event, all this for only $599, plus free membership in Tom Peterson's Movie Club. And you can watch movies like these. Now that's Tom Peterson's. How would you like to get a special deal just because you're watching television right now? Well, you can with Marv Tonkin Ford's Wrestling Specials. These cars have been discounted below our normal sale prices and will only be announced on Saturday Night Wrestling. Here's this week's specials. A 1978 Mustang six-cylinder, four-speed with factory T-top, $29.99. A 1978 Cougar XRT with power sunroof, loaded with every option, only $38.99. A 1976 Lincoln Continental Mark IV, low miles, leather interior, power sunroof, just $46.99. A 1977 Datsun pickup, thrifty four-cylinder, four-speed, only $16.99 and a 79 Ford T-Bird, sharp two-door luxury model, only 39,000 miles, a low $39.99. These prices will only last until 6 p.m. Monday, and you won't see or hear about them anywhere else. But only at Marv Tonkin Ford, so don't miss it. Tuesday at 8, summer of 42. We were different then. Kids were different. It took us longer to understand the things we felt. Life is made up of small comings and goings. And for everything we take with us, going to her house, there is something that we leave behind. It's not going to be that kind of an evening. Summer of 42, Tuesday at 8 on TV 12. Okay, here we go. We got Chris Adams in the ring. We've got Tiny Anderson in the ring. And we're waiting for my partner and ring announcer, Don Owen, to appear here. I hope he doesn't have any problem with any of the combatants back in the dressing room. Mr. Owen, we're waiting for you, sir. Boy, we got a good crowd here today. Boy, if you can, make, a, make your plans to come on out, especially next Saturday night, and watch Buddy Rose. He's coming back in next Saturday night. Dapper Don Owen. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing this corner, 280 pounds from Seattle, Tiny Anderson. His opponent in this corner, 238 pounds from London, England, Chris Adams. Taking on the crowd verbally. Chris Adams, one time British Empire heavyweight champion. I understand they don't say the British Empire anymore, the English heavyweight champion. I don't know whether Chris still holds that belt or not, uh, whether he's been back to England to defend it. Uh, if he does, uh, I haven't heard. But he's one of the fastest rising stars we have here on the coast. That he is. An exciting wrestler to watch. A devastating drop kick. You may have a chance to see it tonight. Now some forearms by Tiny Anderson across Chris Adams' back. Puts him down and a body slam. And he misses. <laughs> he just elbowed the mat, Tiny Anderson did. Colt is fast. Oh, uh, Colt. I mean, Adams is fast. Well, Colt is too, I guess. How you doing, Don? Well, <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Come again sometime. See us here. I'm going to be here in person next week. <laughs> Don't miss There's that. There's a thumb by Tiny Anderson. I think uh, Chris caught that on his shoulder blade. Ooh, boy, caught that on his head. 
face. Chris is taking uh, the short end of the abuse right now. There's Anderson unnecessarily trying to dig his teeth into the man's head. Barr wisely gets him off of that in a hurry. There's a sit-down body scissors by Tiny Anderson. In case you folks have just tuned in, main event tonight between two of Portland's finest young athletes, the person of Billy Jack and Matt Bourne. Matt Bourne just flew in from the Carolinas where he's been operating out of there and into Florida and up into the upper part of the eastern seaboard. Something to be reckoned with back east. He said there's another wrestler on the scene calling himself great in Portland, Oregon. There's only room enough for one of us. And he's come back to find out which of the two of them are the best. Matt, as you know, his record speaks for himself. Left quite a mark here in the Pacific Northwest. The son of a great wrestler, Tony Bourne. Now he's going against newcomer, strong young gentleman, Billy Jack. That bout will not be televised tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Aren't you sorry you're not here? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. I didn't mean that facetiously. It's just that I have people saying, why do they put the main event on television? No, they don't put the main event on television all the time. Well, the best thing you do is just plan to be here. Bring the whole family down. Enjoy professional wrestling in the Portland Sports Arena. All both. matches are due to change subject to contractual differences, weather conditions where there's a blizzard or an ice storm you can't get here an act of God or something like that. And sometimes Mr. Owens will be benevolent enough to put the main event on TV. It's, it's his, uh, under his jurisdiction and his only, it's his choice. Tonight he chose not to put it on TV because I think it's going to be a bloody, bloody battle. Good very well be. Oh, boy, Tiny Anderson using the ropes to put Chris Adams down. There's, There's a whip an arm whip. Elbow. I can't believe Chris taking all this punishment. Another elbow alongside the head of Chris Adams. Oh, well, using a knee there. There's a forearm on top of the head, forearm in the face. Boy, I tell you, Adams is taking uh, a lot of punishment here. Oh, Tiny Anderson using hair for that takedown. Chris Alec, well, he must have used his, I couldn't see that, but it must have been an elbow that Adams used. There's a body slam by Tiny Anderson. He's going up. He's going up. He flew off of there and just landed on the mat again. Oh, there's a uh, kick by Chris Adams. There it is. Almost took, almost took Anderson's head off. He's in Cobweb City right now. There's an arm whip by Adams. Back body drop, 280 pounds. Kaboom. He's got the Englishman hot now. And that, oh, did you up here? You could. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look out. There's the whip. Chris gets out of the way. Here, here it comes. He puts that oh, he's right out. Under his skin. He's Good out. night, folks. This match is over. Yep. That's it. That's it. Chris Adams drop kick does it. Chris Adams the victor over Tiny Anderson. And we'll be back. After oh, this timeout for Tom Peterson. Sofas and love seats cost you less at Tom Peterson's. Terms to fit your budget. Choose any of these four sofa and love seat combinations for only $37.22 a month. This traditional sofa and love seat, nylon blended fabrics, full reversible cushions, or the latest trend in sofas and love seats in genuine hand rubbed oak finish in durable Herculon fabrics, or this early American in nylon velvet, matte center pattern, high back, supreme comfort, or this highly styled fashionable cotton print, quilted with reversible cushions. 
They're all at Tom Peterson, and you can choose any of these for only $37.22 a month. And you may qualify for instant credit if you have any of these credit cards. And then pay 30, 60, or 90 days the same as cash. No interest, no carrying charge. Now that's Tom Peterson. Mmm, get happy. Mmm, get happy. Now they're getting happy. New Happy Cat from Purina. The new moist and meaty tasting cat food. Happy Cat stays fresh and meaty tasting in the bowl so cats can come back for more all day. Mmm, get happy. New Happy Cat cat food. It's delicious meaty taste. Makes cats happy all day. All mechanics get top performance and save money. It's easy when you do it yourself with Purolator air and oil filters. Purolator's premium or XSV air and oil filters, now one-third off at GI Joe's. And for a better running engine, get easy to change MSW spark plug wire set. Now 20% off at GI Joe's. GI Joe's. For automotive savings. We've got what it takes. Don't forget, folks, there's a rundown of the towns this coming week. Sunday, tomorrow is Tacoma, Washington. Monday, Yakima. Tuesday evening, Camas at Camas High School Gym. Wednesday, Medford, Oregon at the Armand. Thursday, Salem at Sprague High School. Friday, Coos Bay at Marshfield High School. Saturday, Portland. And next Sunday, Centralia. And guess who I'm going to talk to right now? Big Billy Jack. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Uh, I want to uh, I want to clear up something that happened uh, Tuesday night here at the sports arena. First of all, I'm starting to find out that uh, professional wrestling is all it's said to be, and it's a very very tough business. And you can take a look at my head here and uh, find out that it's a very tough business. But uh, Oliver, you said you had me down in the ground beating my brains in. Well, I think everybody here at the sports arena has seen it. it was just the opposite. I had you down beating your brains in. But I'm not. I'm not going to I'm not going to stand up here and put you down brother you're one tough cookie I'm going to give you credit for that but I got a bone to pick with you and I'm going to get it picked uh, they're sending all kinds of guys in you got uh, this mad born coming in tonight I'll wrestle anybody you got buddy Rose coming in here next Saturday night to take on uh, Chris Adams and he says he wants me to big deal hey I'll take on anybody anytime any place I don't care Oliver it's Wednesday in Medford Thursday in a cage match in Salem Friday is street fight in Coos Bay or Portland. I don't care where it is. I got a bone to pick with you. The Pacific Northwest isn't big enough for myself and Rip Oliver. And once and for all, I'm going to get your butt like I promised. And I hope, I don't care how I do it. Thank you, everybody in Portland, for supporting me. I love you. Thank you. Billy Jack, back to you, Don. And we're going back out to the ring right now. Well, and we will go out to the ring after we hear from Tom Peterson. So don't go away. We're going to be right back. Wake up, wake up. How would you like to get a special deal just because you're watching television right now? Well, you can with Marv Tonkin Ford's Wrestling Specials. These cars have been discounted below our normal sale prices and will only be announced on Saturday Night Wrestling. Here's this week's specials. A 1978 Mustang six-cylinder, four-speed with factory T-top, $29.99. A 1978 Cougar XRT with power sunroof, loaded with every option, only $38.99. A 1976 Lincoln Continental Mark IV, low miles, leather interior, power sunroof, just $46.99. A 1977 Datsun pickup, thrifty four-cylinder, four-speed, only $16.99 and a 79 Ford T-Bird, sharp two-door luxury model, only 39,000 miles, a low $39.99. These prices will only last until 6 p.m. Monday, and you won't see or hear about them anywhere else. But only at Marv Tonkin Ford, so don't miss it. The Tom Peterson Challenge. If you can buy a better brand name stereo system than this, for under $299, you better buy it. Only $2.99 for this 100% Sanyo audio system. Sanyo receiver, a full two years parts and labor limited warranty. 22 watts per channel. 
the turntable Sanyo. Belt drive with auto return and complete with cartridge and diamond stylus. The speakers, audio design. Fiberflex, TM suspension, eight inch woofers. Hardened conical two and a half inch tweeters with three tuned ports. All this for only $299 and it's 100% Sanyo. That's the Tom Peterson Challenge. This is KPTV, Channel 12, Portland. Now we're ready for our main event. And there's part of it right there, Rip Oliver, the assassin. Northwest Tag Team Champions currently. And they'll be going uh, against the tag team of Hack Sawyer and Chris Adams. Oh, wait a minute, is that right? Playboy Buddy Rose, the star of Madison Square Garden, will be arriving in Portland, flying into Portland shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be the best two out of three falls for a TV time limit for the Northwest Team Championship. Introducing, in this corner, the defending title holders, of the Northwest Team Championship, Rip Oliver and the Assassin. The challengers in this corner, the team of Hacksaw Sawyer and Chris Adams. Well, it is for the belt, and it is Hacksaw and Chris Adams. I was kind of wondering there, because Chris just got through with the belt. Oh, you you, you just think you know everything. You knew this was a <laughs> championship bout, and you just wouldn't tell me. I got your number, Carl. What is my number? I'd like to know. <laughs> Double oh eight. Oh, God, and I missed it by one. You did a bang-up job for us uh, out there at the uh, at, uh, radio spot you did for us for that soapbox derby thing in Sandy last week. I forgot to thank you about that. That was very nice of you. I understand Hacksaw was out there. Yeah, yeah. We did a live remote broadcast on KRDR and had a good time. Hacksaw was there and folks loved him. Incidentally, you fans out there that want to send uh, cards and letters your favorite wrestler or to whoever and just write kptv channel 12 kptv channel 12 post office box p.o box 3401 3401 portland 97208 i'll do it one more time you just got your pens and pencil i know kptv channel 12 post office box 3401 portland oregon 97208 and here we go the belt is on the line. It's the assassin and Hacksaw Sawyer in there. In case you're just tuning in, you're late. We have just now started the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Tag Team Championship bout. Rip Oliver and the assassin with his back to you against Hacksaw Sawyer and Chris Adams. Oliver and the assassin are the ch current champions. Sawyer and Adams, the challenger. Hacksaws with his back to you now in the red trunks. Little test of strength here. Little intimidation on both men's part. Personally, I never went for that test of strength stuff. I just punched the guy in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. And if he stood up, he passed the test. Is that it? Right. <laughs> if he stood up, I got out of the ring. <laughs> Well, our first two, uh, three matches this, this, this evening. Uh, Tommy Rogers over Chris Colt, Stan Stasiak over Chief Tapu, and Chris Adams just got through uh, defeating his opponent. <laughs> There's a tackle by the assassin. Sawyer gets out of the way. There's a big hip lock. Turns it into an arm drag over the shoulder. Top wrist lock. What are you going to say, Don? Oh, Chris Adams, that drop kick against Tiny Anderson there. Just, just. I don't know what you call it. I, it has to be a mule kick. I've never seen anybody use one foot like that. He plants it 
dead on the jaw. I've never seen him miss with the thing. Boy, when he sticks it in there, you can hear it all over the arena. Oh, yeah. And it's legitimate because it's the bottom of your foot, the flat of the sole. There's Chris off the top rope on the elbow socket of the assassin. Chris going to work on that arm. Maybe he knows something I know. There's a front flip by that. Adams. Look at that. Doubles up on the assassin, takes him down, and goes to work on that arm again. Oh, that's what we mean. The part of that excitement that Chris Adams brings to the wrestling ring. Now, here comes... Uh, oh, look uh, out! That's a, all landed with off 219 pounds right on a solar shock. It. Shock it? <laughs> he shocked it all right, didn't he? He sure did. Talked it to him. That's one way to make a uh, tag. Oh, beautiful arm drag by Hacksaw on, on uh, Oliver. Oh, oh, my goodness gracious. There was a kick that came from left field. Ripper has to be hurting on that one. That one looked like it super extended his elbow. Kneeling arm bar now, Chris Adams on Rip Oliver. Now up to a standing arm bar. Really powering uh, down on that. No, it turns it into a hammerlock. Can you hear that? That's breaking. The most loyal fans in any sport in the world, professional wrestling fans. Oh, there's a double, there's a double arm whip and drop kick by Hacksaw Square. Forearm. There's another one. Two of them. They're going back to work on that arm. They must know something we don't, Don. Well, they're trying to create a weak spot. Well, Oliver reaches up, grabs Hacksaw's hair. Hacksaw makes the tag with uh, Chris Adams. And here we go. Oh, look out. Here we go again. Well, they're going to take that left arm off. There's a sitting arm bar by Sasson going up the top rope. Hacksaw shaking that rope. Trying to get him off balance. The assassin was up there on that uh, rope. And referee Sandy Barr came over to grab him, and Hacksaw was <laughs> yanking on the ropes himself. Oh, oh, oh. That hurts. Tremendous force by those knees on that elbow socket. Good to see Hacksaw back in shape again. Not saying he was ever out of shape, but ladies and gentlemen, that young gentleman carried around stitches all over his face, head, body, and shoulders. He had a dislocated knee, and his ankle was swollen up the size of your head. Broken nose. And he worked and worked and worked and persevered and persevered. I don't think he ever missed a bout. And he's back in condition again, and he's well battle-scarred, but he's uh, much wiser for all the uh, hurt that he uh, oh, he's accumulated a, over a month. He's a trooper, that's for sure. One of the guttiest young performers I've ever seen in this business. There's a tackle oh. by Adams. Rip Oliver's down and out of the way. Leg trip by Chris. Oh, he tried to win the headlock, and Adams reversed into a headlock. Oh, the, one of those quick moves by Adams. Beautiful move. You call some of these. I'm confused. I just did. Thanks very much. <laughs> it's all right. Anytime. Adam switching up on that hammerlock. I swear anybody knows what the main event of Ben is and won't tell his own partner. That's kind of sticky. <laughs> oh! oh, boy. oh, oh, oh. Uh, doing a little double oh, teaming there on Chris that, Adams. That will make your nose run. And your ribs hurt. Folks, you have to be there. There's a tremendous belly oh. slam. Didn't turn him over, just laid him out flat on his stomach. That'll take the starch out even in a hurry. Sasson going to work on the abdomen of Chris Adams, trying for a pin. We got a one and a half. That'll Folks, you've got to be here to just feel the excitement that's in this arena and to listen to some of these punches and kicks and some of these body slams when these guys hit the floor in the mat. There's a knee. Oh, right into the small of the back. It's electrifying, is what it is. Here comes Oliver off the top rope, right on the back of Chris Adams. 
all that while the referee's back was turned. What's that hole now? Yeah, that's right. You told me last week it's an English crab or something. It's a what? Well, it looked like one. A what? It's not an English crab. An English crab. Well, that's what... <laughs> what what'd you I, say it was? I'm going to my room and have a stroke. <laughs> I that's forgot to Camel write. clutch. Camel clutch. There you go. Yeah, yeah, right. Camel clutch. I've never seen an English crab. Oh, they hurt. I've seen a Boston crab, an American crab, a soft shell crab. If an English crab, right? If that were reversed, it would be an English crab. Right now, it's a camel clutch. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, show him everything. You folks that didn't get down here tonight, you've still got a chance to get over here to the sports arena. Matt Bourne's in town. And there's only room for one big professional wrestling star from Oregon, as far as Matt's concerned. And he's going to try to do away with Billy Jack tonight. He's from all the way in from South Carolina. Elbow by Chris Adams on Rip Oliver. Makes him stop and think about that. There's a tackle. Oh, here we go. Adams, a second rope. Oh, he, Oliver brought that knee up and laid him asunder. Tags his partner, the assassin. It's your baby, Don. Uh, the assassin coming in with a knee. In the midsection of Chris Adams going for a body slam. And there it is. Oh, well, a kind of a headbutt into the abdomen. Here comes Hacksaw. Hacksaw came in and pulled the assassin off, and Sandy Barr caught it. Now, here comes Chris. Rip Oliver tried to come in, too. The assassin delivering a right hand to the midsection of. Oh, boy, that was a vicious one to the face. Making the tag with. Rip Oliver, and they're going to do a little double teaming again. There's Rip with a knee into the chest of Chris Adams. Face the, first into the turnbuckle. The champions, as you well know, are Rip Oliver and the Assassin, the Pacific Coast Tag Team Champions. They didn't get there by Molly calling their opponent. They're a sophisticated duo, ladies and gentlemen. They know what they're doing at all times. Oh, that is! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! My goodness. I it's, thought I saw Port Oliver's face come off. That's a oh, what kick. A kick. Oh, I thought his ear came off of him. Chris, what a kick. Look up. Chris Adams got a little blood on his look forehead. Hacksaw, come on, Chris. He's yelling at, yelling at Chris. Oliver trying to get his composure. Just had his head hot taken off. He that's makes the pass. Head. Here comes Hacksaw. There's a knee. There's a fist. Another right hand. Here's a whip into the turnbuckle. There's a drop kick on the assassin. <laughs> There's a right hand to the corner. Just pummeling Rip Bomber, taking it to him in the corner. Painting back for his partner, Chris. Chris is out on the floor. Chris is bleeding. One right up. Oh! oh yeah. Did you see that? Oliver, Oliver caught Hack un unaware and unceremoniously uh, dumped him over the top rope onto the concrete. I hope he's not hurt. Oh, I tell you, he landed. He landed with a thud out there. We, he was kind of out of our sight, but boy, he went down hard out there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the more, one of the fastest sports in the entire world. You can't take your eyes off of that ring for a minute. Look at these fans. Oh, oh that was right into the knee. That was right into the assassin's knee. Face first. Now they make the tag, and they're going to do a little teamwork again. Assassin catches. Super the body slam. Hack kicks out. Pushes the assassin in. Comes across with a oh. One, two, three, the That's first it. ball's over. That's first it. ball's go to the challengers, Hacksaw Coy and Chris Adams. Oh, beautiful move by Hacksaw in the first ball in our championship bout. Goes to the tag team of Chris Adams and Hacksaw Sawyer over Rip Oliver and the assassin. We'll be back after this word for Tom Peterson. Price reduction. Our lowest price ever on electronic tuning, wireless remote, video recorder, only $5.99. As advertised this week on the back page of TV Click, this Sanyo video recorder has these great features. Wireless remote, front loading, eight day programmable, one event. All this for only $599. Plus free membership in Tom Peterson's Movie Club. And you can watch movies like these. Now that's Tom Peterson's. Yes? The Earthlings have surpassed our knowledge of candy with Builder's Protein Candy. Earthlings consume Builder's in huge quantities because it contains protein, a building block for the Earthling body. The protein in Builder's comes from delicious sources like toasted coconut, crunchy roasted peanuts, 
and milk. What is milk? I brought back the machine that produces milk. New Builder's Protein Candy from Brock's. The taste is out of this world. Hey, hey, hey! What this party needs is a little sass. But all the cello, what sass? It's the refreshment one finds in cello wine. Ice and chill the cello, serve up a glass full of sass. It's light, it's bright. It's got sass. That's the refreshing sensation of cello wine. Ice and chill the cello, serve up a glass full of sass. Hey, Aldo, sass us again. Ladies and gentlemen, just coming back to the Northwest, the Northwest's own Matt Bourne. I watched this young man grow from a preliminary gentleman. Now he's known all over the United States as Matt the Tiger Bourne. Matt, good to have you back. Uh, thank you, Dutch. Uh, first of all, while I was gone, I'm sorry to say Frank Bonham had died, and I want to let everybody know I'm real sorry about that. I've known Frank since I was six, seven years old. But to get to the point, I'm a busy man. And I took time off, lost a lot of money doing it, to come back here for two reasons. Number one, Buddy Rose. Now, I heard Buddy Rose was in town, and I come in, and he's not in town. The guy, I've always said he's smart. He's very sneaky, and he's very sly. And he was smart enough this time to get out of town when he heard I was coming in. Now, number two. I see this guy, it, they call him Portland's own Billy Jack. <laughs> Billy Jack. Who do you think you are? You think you're Matt Bourne? I am Portland's own. The one and only. You're a big man, you got those big guns. Well, let me tell you something, Billy Jack. I don't have to paint pictures all over my body to be pretty. And I don't have to go to a gym every day to be tough. I'm pretty just naturally. And I'm tough because I like to beat people up and that's just what I do best. So Billy Jack, you didn't leave town. I'm in town and there's only room for one. Now Dutch, you know me for a long time and you know this is a very sensitive topic when it comes to me being from Portland and being proud of it. Now, I got a lot of friends, I got a lot of enemies out there, but I really don't give a hoot. Matt Bourne is back in town, folks. You can love him, you can lump him, but he's back and he's one of the best in the business. Donald. Yes. Welcome back, Matt. Matt will be taking on Billy Jack later right. on. And if you were here tonight, you'd be able to see that. You fellas back in the dressing room, we're going to go right to the ring. Right to the ring right now with the combatants for the second fall of the TV main event, the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. Fall number one belonging to the challengers, Hacksaw Sawyer and Chris Adams. All right. The Rip Oliver and the Assassin are one behind. And they're on their way out here now as we get ready. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, uh, Matt was talking about Playboy Buddy Rose, and uh, he missed Buddy Rose actually by one week. Buddy Rose will be here next Saturday night. So if you have a chance, you'll be here too, or certainly be watching. There are the current champions, Rip Oliver and the Assassin. There's referee Sandy Barr. Very shortly, we'll have the challengers, Hacksaw Sawyer and Chris Adams. There they are. Oh, that was an exciting first fall we had. With Hack and uh, Chris winning. Boy, Chris's forehead is still uh, a little red up there. I think he opened up a hunk of scar tissue above his right eye over there. Now see the, some of the scars on some of these guys. I know I carry a pack of them on my face. Sometimes you get one busted open. If they're high up on the forehead, they're not in any danger of blinding you. The referee won't stop about. They get in the eye area and they get real bad. Sometimes they'll stop about. But in Chris's case, I think the thing is solidified and closed shut from the pummeling he took. Hacksaw and the assassin. 
We're going to start it out for our second ball. Oh, boy. Hack's going right to work on the assassin's left arm. You know, Chris and Hack are giving up. Hack's giving up about 30 pounds to both men. And Chris Adams giving up about 20. Now, you have to realize, most people don't. Take a good look at Rip Oliver, 252 pounds. The assassin weighs 252. Take a look at the shape Oliver's in. These guys are magnificently conditioned. They go seven days a week, seven nights a week, and they can go from Pendleton to Coos Bay, from Coos Bay to Bellingham, Washington. There's an arm drag by Hack, takes the assassin down, and goes back on that, that top twist lock. So when you think professional wrestling's a cakewalk and these guys aren't conditioned athletes, you better think again. Or we'll get you a license and let you try one of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, where would you like the body sent? Kneeling arm bar, standing arm bar, twisting on it, making the tag with Chris Adams. Chris going to come in off the top rope. And here he comes. Oh, I he almost tripped on that one. Dangerous, dangerous move. He could have slipped and uh, Assassin brought those knees up and Chris would have caught him right in the face. Yeah. Well, Adam's going to work now on the left arm of the Assassin, taking it around to a hammer lock. I see young Matt came in with his usual fever. With his usual flair? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's never been lost, uh, lost for words. And you have to give Matt credit. Matt's an international star now. And Billy Jack uh, had better pay close attention to every move he makes tonight because Matt's been in with world champions and you name it and he's beat a lot of them he hasn't beat the world champion as of yet but he's on an hour draw with one of them and i watched it and it was a grueling hard hard match and he had the champ almost beat uh, i would imagine matt's had a pretty good teacher on his way up his dad's here tonight in fact to watch this uh this match oh hack ran into a knee of drip oliver Rip says, Mr. Barr, I just had my knee sitting up there. The guy ran into it. Now, what can I do? Well, well he's talking to Oliver. The assassin's going to work. There's a backbreaker. Mm. Assassin brought him down sideways by right. This match should be over. Uh -oh. now, that hacksaw, I swear, you can't count that young man down. About the most resilient wrestler I've seen in the Pacific Northwest. There's a whip into the ropes. Look at him. Back body drop. Oh, boy. That's the assassin going to work on that back now. Oh, he takes a slam on uh, Chris Adams. Boy, Adams is hot. Here comes Oliver off the top rope. Now Oliver going for the pin on Chris Adams. One, two, and Adams. Uh, not Adams. Hacksaw kicks out. Boy, they thought they had Hacksaw that time. A little bit of shenanigans there. A little bit of backbiting. They thought they had him. There's a standing bear hug. Right up on Ripper's shoulder. That'll take the wind out of your solar plexus in a terrible hurry. That's a bad position to be up on the shoulder. Oliver can apply all the pressure he wants on that. Right on the abdomen. You see what he's doing? He's pushing that shoulder up under the rib cages. That'll yeah. take forcing that takes the all out. the air out of him. Forcing that air right out. Boy, he's really bearing. He's cinching down on that. It's hard to see what uh, what Hack is doing. Other than just trying to hang in there. I'll tell you, that takes a lot of power on the part of Rip Oliver. Look at that. He's, uh, uh, that's one way of breaking it up. That's what you call giving your ears a vacuum cleaning job. Boy, he popped him good with that. Just vacuum those ears. Oliver made the tag with the assassin. The assassin came over and got Hacksaw before he could reach Chris Adams. There's an uh -oh. atomic drop. Oh, oh, boy. You know where that hurts, folks. Yeah. Right at the base of that spinal column. Which hurts all over. Bone. Here comes Hack. He's coming back. And the, assa the assassin coming back on Hack's back. Now, the assassin's going to try this standing bear hug. Well, we got the other view of it from the camera. 
Oh, the assassin. Bearing down. Our right timekeeper out there, if I can ask our director, how much time we got left in the bout? Bearing. There's ten and a half minutes remaining in the bout. Ten and a half minutes. Assassin skills with that standing bear hug and Hacksaw Sawyer. Crowd yelling, we want Hack. That's got to get the adrenaline flowing a little bit. And Hack does a number on Mr. Assassin's head. Oliver came over and planted one on Chris Adams. Chris Adams is flaming mad. He's trying to get in. There's a backbreaker by, look at this, the Assassin's going up. Oh, oh. right across the chest area, Hacksaw. They right. double teamed up on him. That might be it. Yeah, it's going to be all even. This bout's even. It's even. It's even. And boy, I tell you, Chris Adams is beside himself. The second fall goes to Rip Oliver and the assassin over Hacksaw Sawyer and Chris Adams. We'll be back after this timeout. Have you seen what just hit town? That's that new engine, isn't it? Look at this, shaft drive. Is it fast? How about a 12 2 quarter mile? That'll blow away most 750s. Okay, guys, whose is it? The new Nighthawk from Honda. Wish it was mine. But it isn't, is it? Is it yours? Uh huh. Wait till Jake hears about this. <laughs> I'm Ed McMahon. If you or someone you love is age 50 to 80, I urge you to let us know who you are. If you do, you'll receive free information about a life insurance policy designed especially for men and women age 50 to 80. Life insurance with no physical examination and no medical questions. Because of a limited benefit period, you cannot be turned down for any reason. And your premium will be $6.95 a month and will never increase. Colonial Pan Life Insurance Company wants to send you this free information. So if you are age 50 to 80 and thought it would be difficult to buy life insurance, shouldn't you call now? Here's the number. This offer ends soon, so call now. 800-554-3000. This is a free call. 800-554-3000. Okay, Don, let's one more rundown for the fans out there. Tacoma Sunday. Monday, we're in Yakima. Tuesday, we're over in Camas, Washington. You can still get your tickets at the door. In Camas, also at Broadway Shoe Store and uh, Camas Health Food Store and Health Club. Uh, Wednesday, we're in Medford at the Armory. Salem, tell them we're at Salem, Don. Salem, we're going to be at uh, Sprague High School Gym. That's sponsored by the High School Booster Club down there. Right. And Friday, Coos Bay, Oregon at Marshfield High School. Going to be glad to go down to Marshfield again. A lot of good, nice kids down there. Saturday, Portland. Big one here in Portland. And Sunday, Centralia. And the following Monday, we're away up in Stanwood, Washington. Yes, sir. We're getting ready now for our third and final fall. This is it for the marbles, for the belt. Northwest Tag Team Championship. We never give our director out in the truck enough credit. Uh, for this. Uh, he went through heterodyne tonight. There was an extra match thrown at him he didn't know was coming on and a couple interviews he didn't know we were going to have and he handled it quite amicably and the show still goes on. That's, That's a trooper right. out there. Oh, I tell you, Mr. The, Butler. The Butler did it. Okay, the crowd is ready and we are ready and hope you're ready too. Hope you're ready to come on down here next Saturday night. See Playboy Buddy Rose back in town. Possibly to take on Chris Adams. Possibly to take on Billy Jack. Who knows? I'm quite sure that Rose is really angry at Jack for that one fall 30-second victory that Billy snuck in over him, over him on uh, that Christmas week he was in here. Rose must still be fuming about that. Oh, yeah. Got to be. And Bourne wants part of him, too. You know, something that I always like to remind everybody, if you've got a club or a group, a church, organization of any kind you'd like to raise some uh, money for, 
bring in some professional wrestling to your area. And it's uh, very easy to do. I'm going to give you a phone number to call. You can find out all the particulars about it. You can call this number Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Area code 206-686-3085. And you might just get to talk to Dutch Savage himself, and he can tell you how to go about booking in professional wrestling to your area for your charitable organization. Here we go, third and final fall. This match is all dead even at a fall of peace. The champions and the challengers. Champions being the assassin with his back to you. The black tights and the mask. His partner, Rip Ola, the other half of the Pacific Coast Ch Tag Team Championship. They're working over Hacksaw Sawyer and his partner over there in the other corner in the yellow trunks, Chris Adams. They're the challengers. They're the flying mare by the assassin. He goes up under Hacksaw's chin from the reverse side and Hacksaw trying to get out of it. Hacksaw actually reached for that hood again. Look at that, he's trying to untie it. And the assassin bearing down on, on that holds, pulling Hacksaw's neck back. And the crowd starting to chant, we want Hack. Well, I'll tell you, Sandy Barr has to keep an eye on Rip Oliver every, every second of this thing. And he's going over to check that hold in the assassin. The hacksaw reaching up, still trying to untie <laughs> that hood of the assassin. There he's reaching up with his left hand again, and Sandy Barr taking his hand away. Well, he's going for that hood, Beth. He's got that mask up yeah. under his... I thought the assassin had a beard. I thought he did, too. That man doesn't have a beard. Uh-uh, he had it clear up to his nose. No, oh, there's What's a... going on here? Last time I saw that mask come up off, that man had a beard and a lighter colored hair. This guy doesn't have any beard at all. Well, it was the same hole, different uh, holder. Rip Oliver now. Look at that, look at that. Hacksaw saw you powering out of that, and there's a knee right in the back. Here comes another one. He tried to do it legitimately and paid the price for it. Yep. Kind of a hold is That's that, almost Don? a camel clutch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's no the English crab. He'd reverse it, he'd have an English crab on him. Look at this, look at this. Look at Hacksaw picking the Rip Baller up. He's got a... Oh, he took uh, him a look where he landed. Oh! That... Oh, that he, took the wind out of Oliver's sails in a hurry. He just about put Oliver's lights out on that one. Oh, he landed right between Oliver's legs. Knocked the starch out of him. Hack trying to get over to make Hack's the tag. trying to get over for a tag. Uh, and a leg Oliver's... trip by Oliver. Hack still trying. The assassin comes across and puts a stop to that. Woo. Oh, that was close. Hack was trying to make it. Here comes uh, Adams and throws the assassin off. There's a oh. small package by Hacksaw. Assassin kicks out. A little bit of help from uh, Rip Oliver. There's an elbow to the side of the face, a forearm to the back of the head. Here, here comes Hacksaw. One, two. Shots to the midsection. There's an elbow in the back of the head applied by the assassin. Uh, going for a suplex. There's a suplex. Hack kicks down and picks the assassin up. Oh, reverse it. They've got him up. There it is. Hack oh, oh, reverse the suplex. Tremendous force on that suplex try. Both men are a little groggy on that one. Hack Still trying to make the tag with Chris Adams. He's got it. He's got it. This place is exploding now. There's a whip into the rope. Look out. Look out. There's another try for a suplex. That's two suplexes in a row. I could put no Oliver to save the day for his team. Referee Sandy Barr quite adamant. Get out of here, Oliver. 
Look out, we got all four men in the ring at once here. What's going on? Well, Adam's working over the assassin. <laughs> and Hacksaw threw Oliver right into the assassin. Oh, there's a kick by Chris Adam. Almost oh. took the assassin's head off. He doesn't even know where he no, is. No, he doesn't. He's out of it. Oliver is outside right now. He's on the concrete. There goes the assassin right into the turnbuckle and just bounces off. Flying there. Chris is playing for the masked man's hood. He's trying to get that hood off of him. Yeah, he's trying to pull it off. Look at that, the assassin. He, had a, he doesn't have a beard. I was right. He does not have a beard. Oh, we got a Donnie Brook, a Pennine Brook. Look at this. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at the blood on Oliver's head. They've, they've reopened that cut of on Oliver's head. For Fans him. are going crazy. Boy, we, we got a Donnie Brook all over the place there. Adams working. Over, here we go. Head on. Hooligan. There's a time for the pin. One, oh. two. Oh, I thought we had new champions. Your second kicks out. Oh, my word. The Oliver Young, crazy. get out of the ring. I see what he's trying to do. You know what Oliver's trying to do? Trying he's to trying to eat up that time limit. If he can go right. the duration of this bout, that belt won't change. Smart move on Oliver's part. You may not like it, but it's an excellent move. You bet if he can if he can get this to the time limit, well, they'll keep their belt. They'll and do anything to keep that championship, and it's their right to do so if they can get away with it. I think we've only got a couple of minutes left. Yeah, see that? The assassin just uh, getting in there just to break the time, to break the count, and then going back out. Now Oliver joining him out there. Adams is... They're just stalling, Don, just stalling. Fans don't like it. Chris doesn't like it. Their opponents don't like it at all. There's Chris trying to work on... Oliver's got his two cents in. He gets a punch in the face for that oh, one. Oh, yeah, they're working on his head. Oh! Oh, oh Chris just leveled an elbow on him and opened up. But Oliver's cut. Well, the assassin saved it for him right there. Yeah, Chris had him just reopen that gash that we were talking about earlier on Oliver's head. He should have had it sutured, but he didn't. He's going to pay the price for that. Anything's fair in the loving championships, folks. Uh, he's a redhead right now. Here comes Adams. And again, and here comes Oliver. Welcome back to the ring. Oh, look at this. Face first. There it is. And There's the bell. This bout is over. They were saved by the bell, Dutch. This bout is a fall of peace to a time limit draw. The championship does not change hands, and the assassin and Oliver know it. Boy, I tell you, you're right. Oliver, Oliver timed that. He played that right down the wire. They kept their championship by the skin of their teeth. Oliver and the assassin still the champion. Sawyer and Adam very, very dejected at this point, Don. Well, they retained. They retained their belt outside the ring. We're going to keep it right here for the interview, so if we have an interview, let's get the gentleman out here before we close off tonight, folks. Well, you people back there in the dressing room with the monitor on can hear me get this, the people out here that you want to have for the final interview. Boy, what about that was? Oh, this place is going crazy. Absolutely crazy. Championship on the line. And uh, they finally uh, fight to the, to the time limit which means that the current champions, Rip Oliver and the Assassin, keep their Northwest Tag Team Championship belt. Here comes Hacksaw Sawyer into the process to talk with Dutch Savage along with Chris Adams. Hacksaw, Chris, what can I tell you? That was one of the most magnificent efforts I've ever seen in my life. You had them going. They stalled at the end by rights. You should be the championship, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. You can't try over spill milk. Well, you know, Mr. Sanders, you said it as well as any man can say it. You know, me and Chris Adams went out there against the champion. To my knowledge, we should be a new crown champion. But I'm not going to try over spill milk, you know. I hear Buddy Rose is coming to town, and I expect that Chris Adams is going to take care of it. And I hear next week, we're going to have a 14-man battle royal. Well, that's fine, because I'm going to come out on top if I can, for my buddy Chris Adams and Billy Jack. And Chris Adams is going to do a number on Playboy Buddy Rose. 
You got the Playboy this coming Saturday. You were elected. You got the biggest match of your life coming up. That's right, Judge. I want everybody here to come down and see me fight Rose because uh, Rose, I'm gonna knock your head off. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget now. On the first of the month, on March the first. Tuesday night, we got that big battle royal planned for here. The 14-man over-the-top battle royal. There's a $5,000 purse. You know about that one, Hacksaw, but this coming Saturday night, we can't say enough. Rose is coming back in. He's looking for trouble, and who does he draw? One of the fastest comers we've got now, Chris Adams. Chris, good luck in that bout. This is thanks, Judge, and thanks, everybody. I need your support, so please come down, because I want you to see me, not Rose's head.